fish who is your future spouse and what is their personality that's what i want to do in today's video and the table setup is different and also i have like it's it's so hot in here you guys so i have um switched on a fan which is directly directing towards my face and that is uh, you know making this camera vibrate a lot can you like can you see how it's bouncy a little bit what the fish like i can't even enjoy anything right now uh, anyway uh you know what i'll just uh, switch off the fan and we'll be back okay so i have switched off the fan so now the this is not bouncy so here is the pile option pile number 1 2 3 and uh, in today's video in this video we are going to like watch pile number 3 and for those of you who want to watch pile number 1 or 2 you can see the description down below and the links are provided in the description you can always go there and this is some, like a fun way of doing that oh as for me um like I've, it 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 has grown on me the reason i started doing separate piles in different videos was because of the storage issues and now it has grown on me it's more like um you know like if you are watching this video then only the vibe of pile number 3 is going to ooze throughout the comment section you know, so like like only the people who are vibe like vibing with pile number 3 is going to be in here in this particular video and again with different video uh if pile number 2 is resonating with pile number 2 like only pile number 2 community will be there and it's just it's such a good one you know like sometimes we think we are alone we are you know we are the only one who is having this problems in our life and then we see other people's comment and we are like you know what no i was never alone like there were so many people who were going through the same thing and i'm so freaking blessed Okay anyway without further ado today's topic of the reading is um who is your future spouse and what is their personality we are not going to go like in in the idea of like what is their zodiac sign or anything like that we are just going to use tarot and we are just going to see what is the personality okay so that's it like if you have learned tarot then uh, there is this a uh, personality description cards right that's all we are going to take today okay so Yeah, without further ado, we'll just begin. And I know you're not able to see it, but don't worry about it. Um, how about I keep it like this? <laughs> okay. Uh, so for the first by first for the first card, we have six of wands in reverse. So this is again. You might have heard me giving reference to Harry Potter so many times in this video, but today I am going to give the reference once again. So Harry is a person who doesn't like. like fame right as soon as he was born he was famous for you know diminishing you know who and now he's like he doesn't like attention he doesn't like when people are you know attending to them him or something like he loves love he loves the connection but not how people like look at him then look at his car and then talk about him and stuff like that like even if people are believing in him or like the, sometimes people believe in him sometimes people make rumors about him and he just doesn't like that all right so that's what is the personality of your future spouse your future spouse is someone who doesn't like public view so maybe the reason why six of wands did come over here um okay this could be uh, the following message i'm going to tell you could be for a very specific crowd so maybe your future spouse is someone who is doing something related to the internet he um he or she they okay they are a person who um like your future spouse is someone who is may for example let's take an example of youtube so your future spouse has a youtube channel but they are not going to show their face on the youtube channel or they are not going to reveal their identity in the youtube channel so that's what i'm sensing for your future spouse they could be a fire sign or an air sign gemini libra aquarius aries leo sagittarius uh so just take whatever resonates okay so we have 
the second card is justice in reverse why your future spouse doesn't like to be the center of attention is also because they have not been treated justly in the past um they don't like by this time they are kind of bitter they are kind of not happy with the life all right um like people have treated them kind of like unjustly like they oh uh, okay what i'm sensing right now is something my mother usually says is you know like um when she was a little child she uh, she had her siblings her siblings would do some type of mischief and the siblings would run away now she was a child and she would see the siblings running away she wouldn't understand why they are running away but by the time her mother would come out you know uh, from the direction the siblings are running away right behind them the mother her mother is was coming in right and the mother says uh the mother actually gets angry with her the mother is like um is because of you you all just keep on doing mischief and then again that was never the mischief was never done by my mother right so that's what she complains about a lot but that's what i'm sensing for your future spouse as well um it's like your future spouse is someone who 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 was being blamed for something but they have not done that thing that they were being blamed for someone else did something but it kind of eventually affected them um like politics khelna bolte na so that's what is happened that that is what has happened with your future spouse for those who are english speakers so like people were playing like dirty mind games or politics games with each other and then everybody would think that the future your speech spouse was the one who was doing the dirty game but they were just not they are just a pure pure soul they were kind of like a wrong, in a wrong place at the wrong time and they were being horribly treated they were being horribly taken advantage of life has never been the justice to them and now they are in no mood to be in justice for anybody else okay so this could be a libra as well as i said earlier before before this card came out i did tell you that there is a gemini libra aquarius energy and this is the libra energy with the justice but also i'm sensing that justice is telling me that now they are not in the mood to be be good to other people for no reason like they have been taken advantage of right their goodness was been taken advantage of their kindness was been taken advantage of some of you have been taken advantage of in your past as well and this is the similar thing with your future spouse or maybe this is like a 10x thing with your future spouse your future spouse at first they were like i'll be nice to everybody you know like i'll never do anything wrong with anybody but now they are like they don't know who to trust i believe that's where they are coming from but whatever it is they are like no i'm not i'm never going to be nice to anybody i'm never going to be like just giving justice to anybody i'm not the person who you should be deserving sorry you should be expecting good things from if you want you can expect good things from your parents you can expect good things from your friends you can expect good things from your like universe from god but not from me so that's the kind of like a kind of anger it's not coming from the place of anger but it started from the place of anger i believe um it's a very complex energy pile number 3 it's like a very deep energy something that i have never felt in my life i have never seen this in my life so i can't understand this completely but i hope i am like how much ever i am able to understand i'm telling it to you i hope you are getting it basically it's like they are they understood that life is not justice okay life doesn't serve people justly and they are not in the mood to give give justice to anybody okay so that's what i can see from your future spouse's standpoint 
irrespective like if you are having any kind of sympathy for your future spouse file 3 you don't have to um you can if you want to i'm not saying that you don't you shouldn't or something but you don't have to why because we have the strength they are so strong there is this saying at least uh, there is the saying over here which in hindi that says that god doesn't give you the problems that you can't handle if there is a problem in your life god knows that you can handle that and that's the same case with your future spouse your future spouse can handle 10 times more from all the things that have happened in their life but god has just given them a little bit of the problems from that of what they i mean like i know this doesn't look like a little bit necessarily but trust me they can take much more they can take much more they are like strong willed super strong and also now maybe they are into fitness uh, like they might be into going to the gym and getting the muscle energy as well so that's one of the energies i can see i'm also hearing ringing so for those of you who wanted a confirmation here you go let's see what is the next card four of swords your future spouse hmm this is a contradicting energy right now your future spouse is strong okay they can take anything and this is what their guardian angel understands their guardian angel know that they can take anything they are strong enough they are more than they are, they are so strong that they can take 10 times more of this problem but they don't feel very strong right now okay that's what i am sensing with the four of swords energy they don't feel like they are strong they don't feel like they are going to make it all right they feel like they feel very weak and uh, there is a trigger warning type of a message i am receiving from it um if you want you can mute or if you want you can plug out your earphones i'll give you a thumbs up and that's the time you can come back in so plug it out right now okay so pile number 3 one of the messages i'm sensing for you guys is maybe your future spouse has tried to commit suicide in their life um they they feel so weak so fragile on the inside they feel like they can't take any more and maybe that's the reason they have attempted suicide irrespective as a tarot reader i think i should be giving this disclaimer to everybody of you if you are feeling suicidal please call the suicide helpline if you are if you know anybody please ask them to call or maybe like yeah just call and then call a suicide helpline and then just give the phone to them like make them talk to them right or maybe like if you need any kind of if you are going through mental health issue or anything like that go to a medical health professional only okay 100% medical health professional is the right way to go for it and i hope that message helps if this is sometimes some messages comes out that is like a mirroring energy this could be the message that is like applicable for you as well if it is that's why i needed to give you this disclaimer okay so here you go this is the four of swords energy i'm receiving the other energy that i'm receiving from the four of swords is that your future spouse okay yeah welcome back everybody welcome back okay your future spouse is someone who is who, your guard uh, your future spouse's guardian angel is with them okay and uh, some of you some of you guys have the same guardian angel um with each other like i don't care whether you believe in guardian angel or not but you have a guardian angel who is helping you out and that's the same guardian angel that is helping your future spouse out as well that's one of the messages for one of you maybe that's what i'm sensing it's not it's a very rare very specific message i received um but yeah for the most part i'm sensing that your future spouse has have the tendency to just let go of everything you know i'll just let it go i'll just like give it to god i'll just surrender it to god let god take care of things okay so that's what i'm seeing from this 
four of swords energy however for a lot of you guys your future spouse is kind of an atheist okay they don't believe in god in that case they are maybe trusting the universe or may I, maybe they are just in the practice of letting go it doesn't matter what it is it just matter like what they are doing they are just letting go okay and we have the last card we have is 10 of cups in reverse so 10 of cups is the again it's about happiness it's about joy it's about celebration it's about um wedding right your future spouse is so freaking broken they feel so broken right now that they feel they don't feel happy anymore okay they are not the kind of a person if you want someone who is happy all the time um i don't think so that's what you want by number 3 but just just in case if you want someone who is happy all the time or like uh brings happiness to the to your life or something this is the totally opposite person that you are manifesting as per your current energy you are manifesting a person who is sad who is unhappy unhappy with life i think they might have given up on their life a little bit as well um I, now sometimes they do reflect on themselves like whatever has like they might have gone through trauma by number 3 and they are kind of reflecting on that a lot they are, they are reflecting on what they have lost and who they have lost and trying to just you know trying they relive that those experiences a lot that's what i see but sometimes when we relive things right we also work on those things at the very same time like we are mentally trying the the way to move on from the past is through sometimes okay so that's what i'm seeing from your for your specific person they are in their thoughts they are you know like completely in there but i believe that for for the most part they are just remembering all those things and that keeps them up at night that makes them sad um they are not very cheerful type of a person they are not very much of a person who wants marriage maybe marriage if your future spouse have married before uh, this is a very specific message again if your future spouse have been married before for those of you who are around 40s or something want to remarry this is a message for them all right i believe that their ex partner ex marriage partner have also like treated them unjustly okay so that's also one of the reasons they are not very thrilled or excited about the idea of marriage they are not very dreamy about marriage they are in fact they could be pessimistic about marriage as well okay so that was like a very pretty deep heavy energy over here like i was just thinking whether i should take a advice card or something but if i need to take an advice card mm. okay okay i i just took the advice card i don't know why but even if i take the advice card this is for your future spouse how is how is the advice for you going to apply going to be applicable for your future spouse right how is they going to be helped i don't know anyway um in action is the way to go queen of pentacles in reverse is telling me that um first of all if you are the viewer and if you are thinking how you can help them maybe this is the message for you as well and in that case the message for you is very specific you don't have to do anything this is not your thing right like it's not under your control in any way shape or form so inaction is the answer for you but for those of you if you have met your future spouse and if you if your future spouse is for example you have shared this video of it with your future spouse right and if it is like if if they are here welcome and um if they are watching this or if they if you are if for example if you end up meeting your future spouse and you want to tell this to them you can the queen of pentacles in reverse is obviously talking about in action they were being treated unjustly when they were doing a lot of work as well 
when they were making friends they were being treated unjustly when they were for example married for some of you they were being treated unjustly when they were working a lot that's when also they were being treated unjustly like people didn't take didn't give them back what they were giving them right and so they have worked a lot they have worked hard they have worked for their friendship they have worked for the marriage and they have also worked in their like career life as well nothing has worked right for them so angels are telling them not to work anymore just give up like not give up but you know just be in an inaction mode let go and i feel so sorry for your future spouse by number 3 and if you do come across uh if 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 you are someone who is going through this and if you need anything uh first of all there are mental health professionals that help you all with um, with what what is it there's two messages i have for you guys the first message is there are mental health professionals that will help you with the counseling treatment you can go for that don't go for the medicine it's not going to be i mean like sorry i shouldn't suggest my side to you guys but okay you know what just do what the therapist is telling to you like they are medical professionals they know what what is best thing for all of you guys um but yeah if you are in need for a counseling all right you have to listen to me carefully listen, listen to me carefully i do provide counseling uh like session like counseling session for my client like tarot clients but uh my mostly i do the shadow work thing okay for pile number 3 for pile number 3 you don't need the shadow work what you will if this reading resonates with you and if you are you know in the future spouse situation or whatever like if you are in need for it all you need is how to let go okay how to let go counseling letting go counseling letting go counseling letting go counseling just email me if you are interested in this counseling session email me with the title saying i want a letting go counseling letting go counseling that's it like i'll i'll try to help my best with um, by the way my services should only be used as a substitute or as an additional thing the main thing should if you are like suffering from anything like what i've told you right now uh the main thing should always be the medical health professional but i'll try to help you my best way possible how to let go okay that's how we'll do the treatment that how like we'll do the counseling basically that's it okay i'm not a professional by the way okay yeah that's it that's all i have given like too many of the disclaimer over here anyway um yeah we'll meet you tomorrow or whenever you want to meet like if you are emailing me we'll meet you then um if you are emailing me if i haven't responded in like soon just give me 2 to 3 days i'll be there okay thank you so much for being here thank you so much for your energy i feel so sad for your future spouse um but yeah we'll sign off right now namaste goodbye